We have just learned a basic function of tax using which we could calculate the total of this value, right? And then depending on the column level context and the row level context, pivot table could automatically calculate the value for you. But what I really want next is that I want to, you know, calculate these values, the sales value, the gross amount value, the gross profit value, the IPTDA value and I don't want to be dependent on this pivot table filters option here because you know using this I can only use one value in a pivot table because the filter works on the complete pivot table so if I apply the filter uh, that will mean that I cannot put in any other value on this pivot table so I want to get rid of that and we can use we can uh, we can uh, calculate such a value of sales or gross profit using the calculate function in DAX. How does that work? Let us uh, talk about that. But even before that, let us look at again that how we can calculate sales. So if I go to my chart of accounts and if I talk about, you know, the level of subclass, you can see that I can tell my, if I can tell somehow tell my system, my power pivot that please only calculate the values where subclass equals sales you know please only calculate the total values where subclass is equal to sales and then uh, you know my problem will be resolved so i will go to my this sheet again and i will click on this power pivot and i will click on measure and new measure and this measure is going to be total sales so i'll say total underscore sales and let us start writing that text function that we're going to use so to increase the font size here you can simply press the control key on your keyboard and then scroll using the mouse and this font size will increase and now let's start typing the calculate function so i'll simply write calculate and now i'll press the tab key you can see that it has already given me all the options with cal so since calculate is already highlighted so i'll simply press the tab key and you can see the function has been opened the next thing that we need to do is to define what what to calculate so i can do that again please calculate the sum of you know the amount column that lives in the gl so we can do that that please calculate the sum and then we can apply a filter after that or i can simply refer to the previous measure that we already just calculated and that measure was already calculating the sum so i will simply say please calculate the value so you can see that here we have the total value uh, this sign here the submission sign here is showing me that this is an already defined measure and i will simply press the enter key on my keyboard and now you can see that within my new text function i'm going to be using a previous text function that was defined here with total value now please press the comma and now we can define a second condition here and that condition in the calculate function is going to be a filter so i will say please go to subclass just write the subclass and you know it has given me the option where the subclass is available in all my data so uh, the system is telling me that in the typical chart of accounts i have the column of subclass and subclass 2 so i will uh, you know select the subclass and press enter and now here i will press the enter you know equal sign here and now i will apply the inverted commas and i will say please pick the sales and now i'm going to close my bracket and now you can see what i'm doing is calculate the total value where subclass is equal to sales and then also let us format it into the number no decimal and comma separator and finally let us check our formula before we press enter and you can see it is telling me there is no error in the formula that is always a good check to do because you know dex is a little less user friendly so even we miss a small thing the formula does not work so i'll press ok and you can see that you know it will add a new measure in my system and by the way it has already since my, i was already in my pivot table it was selected it has also added this pivot table here that is total sales now of course you will agree that you know uh, there was already a filter that has been applied here so this is not a right way to check so i'll simply remove this to new measure from here right now and i will actually add a new pivot table i will simply copy and paste this pivot table from here to here and 
I will simply hide okay let me scroll down and okay and let me increase you know let me select these columns and let me fix the font size and now in this new column first of all I'm going to remove this filter in this new pivot table and now that the filter has been removed you can see that the sum is bringing in everything so I will exclude this sum from here and I will go back to my fields and I can definitely go to GL and find my field here or I can simply search with sales and you can see this FX function basically shows the this is a measure and I'll simply drag it down here and now you can see that we have the same value so in this case I could get the value but applying the filter but since here in my measure there is already a filter that has been applied and this is telling me that this is going to be you know a total sales now my pivot table is independent I can bring in as many measures as I like so I will say please you know uh, all you will also you should also add this measure right now so that you have some practice and now in the next lecture we are going to add the measure for the cross profit and all of these values let us do that